My name is Rick Aguilar. I'm a construction consultant and cost estimator. What I'd like to do is touch on skilled labor and what that means in the public works project arena. If you have any questions at the end, please give me a call to discuss. What we'd like to talk about is self-performed work, union versus non-union. So let's take a look at union first. What is a carpenter's take-home pay per hour? Well, that depends on what union you're signed up with. Let's say you're signed up with a carpenter's union. In this case, in California, Sacramento, California, the base rate for a carpenter is $50.50 per hour. That is their take-home pay. Let's talk about non-union pay. What is a carpenter's take-home pay per hour if you're non-union? Well, there's no union to tell them what to pay their carpenter, so they can pay anything. They can pay between $15 to $55.50 per hour. So let's just talk about apples and apples. Let's say, let's use this. A union carpenter gets paid $50.50 per hour, and let's say a non-union carpenter gets paid $50.50 per hour. And along comes this thing called Fornia's Prevailing Wage, or Davis-Bacon Labor Compliance. So the Davis-Bacon comes from a federal mandate, and the California Prevailing Wage is what we're interested in. What it does is it levels the playing field for labor contracts. As you can see in this general prevailing wage determination screenshot, a union carpenter gets paid $50.50 per hour. And that's per his union agreement. But he also gets paid $30.49 which really isn't paid directly to the union worker, it's called fringe benefits. So the carpenter actually makes $80.99 per hour, although he doesn't see the fringes. Let's talk about the non-union pay scale. The non-union for apples and apples, again, is $50.50 per hour. That's what we say that we'll pay a carpenter. But he also gets paid the fringe benefits of $30.49. That means his total per hour is $80.99 that he gets paid on a prevailing wage project. So if you're a carpenter or a laborer or if you're signatory to the cement masons, they'll be lining up at your door for work because they'll get more money by working for a non-union construction firm than from a union construction firm. So on prevailing wage work, you have a workforce advantage over union firms. Why? Is because you pay more money to your employee because you're non-union. Give me a call to discuss if you have any questions. Thanks.